Welcome to Brayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this square A, B, C, D and the uh, uh, two smaller squares which has an area of four square units each are arranged in this uh, uh, range with this, the larger square A, B, C, D and a corner of the green square is at E along the side A, B and connected to point C and it forms this triangle. Uh, E, B, C. And we are required to find the area of this triangle, E, B, C. Okay, so next is we consider uh, a drawing a line from the intersection of these uh, two uh, small squares, the green square. So we draw a line from this point to point D. And we label this as point F. And we form this triangle AFD. Okay, so. Okay, so next is we focus on the this triangle AFD. Okay, so uh, this triangle AFD for segment AF, this is actually uh, the side of the green square, which will be uh, 2. We just need to take the square root of this 4. And. Uh, this df is actually the hypotenuse of this uh, uh, isosceles uh, right triangle because this is from a square. So this becomes a 2 square root of 2. And this uh, we call this side ad as s, the side of the uh, larger uh, square. And uh, notice the angle at AE and AF. So AE is actually the diagonal of this uh, square. And if it, does, it is the diagonal, then this angle should be 45 degrees. And uh, if that is 45 degrees, then if we uh, look at the larger square, so the larger square is A, B, C, D, and of course the corner is actually uh, 90 degrees. So this becomes 90 minus 45, and this becomes uh, 45 degrees. Okay, so next is we focus on triangle AFD. So AFD. So isolating this triangle AFD by using cosine law. So uh, we have here the two sides uh, given to be S and 2 and an included angle which is this 45 degree angle opposite this uh, uh, length FD which is uh, given to be 2 square root of 2. So uh, we can, so we use a C square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab times cosine of the angle, so theta. So in our case, the opposite side, uh, fd is 2 squared of 2. So squared is equal to uh, a square plus 2 square minus 2 times uh, 2s times cosine of 45 degrees. Okay, so 2 square root of 2 squared gives us 8. So 2 square is 4 times this square root of 2 square is 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. So it is equal to s square plus 4 minus 4 uh, S times cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. And uh, we can cancel this. So this becomes 2. So we are left with uh, S square plus 4 minus 2 square root of 2. S. Then we can act is equal to 8. So we are ending in a quadratic equation, so uh, we just need to put this 8 to the right hand side and 
which uh, subtract of 8 here. So it's equal to a square i a square. Uh, so we need to delete this. Sorry. So we just uh, subtract 8 here and we have here 0 is equal to a square minus 4 minus 2 square root of 2 s and arranging that we have a square minus 2 square root of 2 s minus 4 is equal to 0 then we solve this resulting quadratic equation okay so we can solve this by completing the square so a square so we copy that and we need to get this to be a perfect square trinomial so we just need to divide it by 2 this 2 square root of 2 and square it so plus uh, this becomes a square root of 2 squared and we need to put this negative 4 to the right hand side and this becomes 4 and what we added on the left should be added to the right so it becomes a plus square root of 2 squared we need to add this okay so next is uh, we uh, since this is a perfect square trinomial on the left hand side so this will be s minus the square root of 2 squared minus because we have there the minus on the middle term so it's equal to this becomes uh, this 4 plus square root of 2 this square root of 2 squared becomes 2 and we just need to add this to 4 so this becomes 6 and we take the square root of both sides so square root square root and uh, this becomes a s minus square root of 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 6. And this becomes s. We just put the square root, negative square root of 2 to the right hand side. And uh, this becomes uh, s is equal to square root of 2 plus or minus the square root of 6 but we are only going to get this square root of 2 plus square root of 6 because uh, this will be a negative if we use this uh, square root of 2 minus square root of 6 so because it will result because square root of 6 is larger than square root of 2 and if we subtract uh, square root of 2 uh, by Square, with square root of 6 this will become a negative distance so we will only use the s plus square root of 2 plus square root of 6 okay, so going back to the original figure so since s is this is s the, the bc is also s so this is a uh, square root of 2 plus square root of 6 and we can write it as square root of 6 plus square root of 2 and notice this at AE. So AE is the diagonal of this uh, square, uh, this uh, green square. So this is this will be since the side is two. The diagonal will be square root of two times the side. So this will be two square root of two. And notice that we can already get this and then eb so eb is the total and total i mean the total side minus this ae this length ae so if the total is a square root of six because s the side is square root of six plus square root of two then we need to uh, subtract this uh, two square root of two so minus two square root of 2 so this becomes a uh, square root of 6 minus square root of 2 just uh, add the similar terms so next is we isolate this triangle abc so 
one the two sides are already given so we can choose any of the two to be the base so if we choose eb to be the base so that is uh, area of ebc is equal to one half times the base times the height so area of ebc is equal to one half times the base which is uh, square root of six minus square root of two times the square root of six plus the square root of two and this will be a difference of two squares so if we multiply the two binomial so one half times square root of six squared minus square root of two squared and uh, this becomes area of ebc is equal to one half times square root of six will six square will be six minus square root of two square will be two so six minus two is four and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So area of EBC will be equal to 2 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.